Hi, you guys. Welcome. Welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker, and today we're going to be discussing the next yarn I think is worth it. <laughs> I've been sitting here filming videos for too long, and my tushy hurts. It's actually just everything's falling asleep from my rib cage down. We're going to be discussing Nitpicks Felici. So this is a fingering weight yard yarn. It is sold in 50 gram balls and they are 218 yards. They are a size one yarn, but there is a worsted weight version of this and that is also worth it. I do not have any currently at the moment. Well, I do, but it's undyed and it's in the other room. It's with my dyeing supplies, but this is great for socks. It is... 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, machine wash cold, tumble dry low. I generally don't tumble dry my socks, but I don't freak out if they end up in the dryer. But I have made many, many a pair of socks out of this yarn. They come out seasonally. So you have like a spring release and a fall release generally of these yarns. And like the latest one was throwbacks. And I ended up not buying any from the last one because I already had... Like, I'd just done goth kitty socks, and I just had a hat made out of one of the other ones, and it's like, mm, I mean, I, either still got that same colorway in my stash, or I just used it on my stash, so it's not worth a, but they're all these, the, these self-striping, they're very silky, very satiny. Like I said, I machine wash my socks. I don't normally throw them in the dryer. But my socks have gone through the dryer. I mean, every pair of my hand-knit socks have been through the dryer at least once, if not more. Uh, just, yeah, it gets hidden in there. When you do a delicate load, things get lost in there. Lots of little pieces. It's like doing kids' clothes. But you have a nice assortment of colors. I, this is Thunderstruck. Or as I think of it as the Denver Broncos. Hamburger. Rugby player. <laughs> Summer camp. Side pony. Whoops. Totally just bounced that off my hand. Raspberry beret. I've got an entire cube up there <laughs> of Felici yarn. These are just some of the singles that were hanging out. I also have uh, animal crackers sitting over there, which was a colorway from last spring. That and test pattern were the only two colorways I wanted from last spring's collection. I have learned, so they sell these in the value pack where you get one of each colorway. I've bought the value pack. Actually, I bought two value packs multiple seasons in a row. have used quite a bit of this yarn. I know I like the yarn. If I like all the colorways, I'll still buy the value pack. But for how slow I'm going to go through something like, let's be for realsies. That's such a novelty color. And I don't know that I, I, I could even take myself seriously gifting a pair of Ambergesa hamburger socks. But <laughs> I do tend to just buy the colors I like, said Animal Crackers and Test Pattern. Test Pattern I really, really love. I only got two skeins of that. I got th four of the Animal Cracker, and it's because they sent me the wrong thing for some reason in an order. I was buying something for a project, and for some reason, one of the, it was like a Hawthorne that I had bought or something, and I ended up with two of those, and... I was like, that's not what I ordered. And then I ended up in the next order getting two more of them plus the Hawthorne. I, I don't know what's going on with that, but I enjoy ordering from Nitpicks. Their customer service is, by and large, I've been ordering from them for about three and a half, maybe. Oh, no, I've been, oh, it's closer to six years I've been ordering from them. Because I've had my channel for two and a half years. It'll be three years in August. I placed my first order with them before we moved house. 
2010, 2011, 2012, in that zone somewhere. So yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. This was the first, like, ooh, I feel fancy. Buy my own specialty yarns. Uh, there are multiple stages where you, is a, is a yarn crafter where you're like, this is fancy. No, this is fancier. This is even fancier. My first one was buying Lion Brand yarn. That was like, that's my first fancy. The Woolies in particular, that was, the, that's my fancy yarn. That, that's my first fancy yarn. And then I discovered Knit Picks, which is a OAS quality yarn at a slightly more reasonable price by and large, especially when you shop their sales and their end of the season clearances. Get some really, really good deals on their yarns. These are, by the way, $6.99 a ball. They're they're fantastic. It, it, it makes great hats. The drape on cowls out of this is beautiful. If you like self-striping yarn, which these are. I really can't say enough good things about it. it, it you can see how smooth the yarn itself is. It's a very, very soft merino. It's very easy to wear around your decolletage area, your sensi sensitive part. So, I mean, it makes great cowls, shawls, scarves. I've used it as a... Maybe I'll remember to stick a picture here. The hat and scarf or hat and cowl set that I did back at the beginning of this year, I used my scrap yarns and then held it with scraps of Felici. So it's a great blending yarn if you're trying to work a whole bunch of scraps together because you already have a self-striping pattern in this. So it creates the illusion of more changes in a held together pattern like that on top of where you're actually switching out your, your scrap skeins. So it holds up great. My oldest project made out of Felici. It was married in 04. It's probably a pair of socks from like 2007, 2008. And um, they've been worn pretty hard. I haven't asked my mom if she actually wears the green socks I made her, but that is Felici as well. Um, yeah, gosh, I've been ordering from them for a long time. I don't know that I ordered that myself. That might have also been a gift. My first Malbrigo was also a gift. And uh, I used to be a member of a lot of swap groups. So when I was learning how to knit, it was actually kind of nice because I was able to try a whole bunch of stuff and then move forward. I just love that summer camp color. I don't know what it makes me think of, but it's it, it reminds me of a movie poster and I can't. It's not Endless Summer, but it's something like that where you would see it on a graphic tee. And I can never quite put my finger on it. But yeah, it, it comes in a nice array of colors. Every season you have nice variety. You have a lot to play with. And if you go to their stroll section, a lot of times you can find some form of a coordinate if you want to do matching heels to or uh, coordinating heel toe cuff or something like that. It's soft. It holds up well. It machine washes just fine. Like I said, I put my socks through the dryer a couple of times. No pilling, no noticeable wear. I have not had to darn any of these, but I probably haven't worn any one pair of hand knit socks more than 50 times. I've got enough to where I rotate through them. And I like, if I'm going to be walking around barefoot all day at the house, like I'm putting on squishy socks, not my nice dress sock kind of things. So I haven't had any heel wear, toe wear. I haven't poked a hole through a toe. I have done, I have partridge heels. Um, another weird gussety turn heel, afterthought heel, peasant heel, I've made fingerless gloves out of this before, and that turned out really, really nice. So it, it holds up really well. It comes in very vibrant colors. It is self-striping, which is really, really nice if you just want to zhuzh something up a little bit without work. It's one of the reasons why I love cake yarns. You don't have to do the work. It already stripes. It's already there. And at $6.99, I mean, for 100 grams that, you know, is $14. That's still less than an LYS price tank of sock yarn. 
I mean, if I go to my LYS or visit an LYS, I'm looking at paying anything from $22 to $32 for a Hank, a 100 gram Hank. So I find the price to be really reasonable. And I thought it was about time we threw something a little bit different in this series. I keep getting asked how I feel about nitpicks because apparently I don't talk about them a lot. I spend a lot of time talking about Premier and Lion Brand, but I, it is true. I don't talk a lot about how I feel about nitpicks products overall. So I figure Felici is a really good way to just kind of step into that. It does crochet nicely too. So if you're not a knitter or interested in making socks or anything like that, it does crochet nicely. The striping pattern is obviously a little bit shorter because you use a little bit more yarn per stitch because the stitches are taller, but it works great. It, it's nice. It's inexpensive. It's readily available season after season. You have a new combination of things that you can try and play with. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, if there's something else I didn't cover in this that you want to know about this yarn, let me know. I'm happy to answer questions in the comments down below. I love seeing what or hearing about what you guys have done. Please let me know what you've made with this. What's your experience with this? Um, I've used multiple seasons, multiple years worth of it and still keep buying it. So part of it is the collector and part of it is I I genuinely enjoy working with it. I'm going to sit here and stop like putting my fingers in the holes of the skeins. I'm in a really good mood today so I keep doing goofy things as I film and of course this is the day where I'm going to sit down and film like five videos. So y'all are going to have a whole bunch of ooh squirrel and rabid chihuahua carry. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> anyway you guys I hope you're having a fantastic day. I look forward to seeing you guys real soon. I love you guys.